Normally we are in for back today. We'll go through the session as always, teaching lots of tricks along the way. Single arm ground burst. So when we are doing the pull down, what we want to try and think about is, ironically, not pulling it down, but scooping down. So much like that show arm pull down, we want to try and get the elbow fixed in, drag the elbow in, and then it's a pull. You'll find that that'll get the lats going a lot more, as opposed to thinking I'm just pulling. We're actually trying to scoop and then drive it in. So if you struggle connecting with your lats, bear that in mind. Next up, a horizontal row, bring it in across. So overhand grip row. So we've got the more contraptions out. Reason being for this is instead of using like a straight bar, you're then, if you use a straight bar, the wrists and elbows are all fixed to where they have to travel. Generally speaking, our wrists need a little bit of movement to prevent a bit of tendonitis over time. So if we look what I'm pulling, the main focus here is the elbow position in relation to the shoulders. The wrists aren't really impacting that at all. So I can allow for some free wrist movement. So as I get more into this position, I can sort of just let the wrist go where they need to, which is for me is about here. Whereas if I had a bar, I'd be fixed in this position. So externally rotate, which can nag my shoulder over time. So that's why we can use the handles. This is nice and fixed. And then you notice on the, on the floor, I've just popped some plates down, just so I got a little bit more traction. So obviously you'd be able to push my weight here. Can't really go into this position. Because I don't get the tension, as you can see. So I need a little bit of distance away from the, the point of where the resistance starts. Pull it up and around. Let's do it. So if you are doing a cable row, because you maybe haven't got on a machine row, it's obviously quite common. So we've only got one 
T-bar, so I like to put a cable in. So obviously taking into account all the cues I've just mentioned, one of the big things is when we're doing a, a row which isn't chest supported, it can be really tempting to almost get that little bit of a, a little lean back on the go. So how you can stop from that happening straight away is bring the hips back. So the hips are behind the shoulders. So now, even if you do sort of lean back a little bit, you're still only going to end up perfectly straight, which will allow you to work the back muscles and get everything nice and short. So big cue for you is bring the hips further back, shoulders forward and pull, as opposed to going into it like this, and then all of a sudden you're going to start leaning back. So let gravity help you out a bit. So set number two, coming in, hips back and pull. With ideally no movement at all through the back. Nice and upright. Let the back do the work. A little bit there. So we're on to a pull down variation. This time, targeting more the terries and kind of the upper lat as I referenced earlier in the video. So with this one, we really are trying to get those elbows to wrap all the way around the back of our shoulders. So we have the lats and then we have what's called basically the mini lat, which is the terries. So if you're ever trying to bring up like the width through the front shot, your back double by, this would be a good movement to consider. You could do it just with a pull down without being fancy with the chest support. Get ourselves fixed in, hands facing each other, allow some for extension, nice stretch. We pull and wrote note where the elbows are coming. Into here. And I need to go heavier. Whoa. Do your working set. Your working set. Never one out of us two. Come on. Why not? Sit. Yep. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, yep, we're good. That's the, the thing with this is, this isn't in line and this isn't. So as you can imagine, my brain is just like, T optimal. Right, last set of this. And then we're into some, a little bit of upper back. But as I was touching upon in the, in the start of the video, you know, this workout in particular is really, you know, based on where my strengths and weaknesses are. So with my training, my training background back in the day, a lot of uh, strength and conditioning, CrossFit, Olympic weightlifting. So one thing I like was sort of overdeveloped then was my lower back and my traps, which was great. But then as I got training, I developed like some bad habits of just always using my traps, which is why this sort of, you know, with my content, it's all I'm doing is really just relaying info from what I've had to learn to help grow my physique. But it's kind of still the case today. Judge's feedback was I need more lats. I need to develop some, essentially like the more thickness through the width 
like my traps, my mid back is like very strong, lower back. I need that to catch up. So that's why you'll see with all my movements, it's all driven around basically lat training and whether it's lat training vertical plane, lat training horizontal plane, the Terry's pull down, and then I'm just sprinkling in a little bit of upper back movements along the way to keep them there. Whereas if like your training objective is to like really get that thickness through the back, you know, then you should be prioritizing the, the low rows, the chest supported, um, vertical grips, you know, really working through those strong upper back positions. Whereas to me, I'm kind of essentially trying to do the opposite. And you'll even see when I'm kind of doing my upper back focused, I'm still keeping the shoulders down. I do not want anything further up in the, in the trap department. And also the same with my front of my body, my delts were superly overdeveloped because CrossFit and Olympic weightlifting demands so much shoulder work and so little chest. So again, when it comes to me showing you like the D-handle presses and all this fancy stuff, it's just because that's what I had to really learn to, in order to get my physique kind of where it is today. But we're always still trying to improve, of course. Bit of a TED talk, that one. Kind of junior today. So low row. As I mentioned, even when I'm doing like a low row, for me I'm still trying to keep a, as, trying to keep the traps out of the way by keeping the shoulders down. But if you're trying to get absolutely want traps when you're in this position, you want to bring the seat a little lower and just really encourage this as much as you can. Whereas for me, I'm trying to encourage that as much as I can. So. If you want trap dominant low row, bring yourself right up by bringing the chair down and really bring yourself up like this. That's how you target from there. Again, as always, majority of the stuff, two working sets to failure, progress. One more set of this, two sets of pull down, pull over, and then that is back in the books. We're nearly there. Perfect timing. Onto the cables. 
We're nearly there. Big session today. It's pretty hot in here as well. Ooh, it's pretty hot. Alrighty, so we are obviously on two, straight arm pull down to finish off. Again, relative to me, we need to bring up these lats, so that's what we're doing by adding in these at the end here. Ah, I think really important, if you're gonna like add in these little bits, much like in that tricep and legs video, you've really gotta make sure, you know, you are log booking and making the most out of it. So it doesn't just become like junk volume, you kind of do it at the end. It will not help your physique. You get a bit of a pump and that'll be about it. When it comes to this straight arm pull down, just double check what I did. I want to get that lat as short as I can. So remember in the pull down, I'm just bringing it into the pocket. With this, I'm almost trying to get my arm to come all the way back and fly over my head. Just really trying to squeeze that lat as hard as we possibly can across the whole lat. So I'm going to put the headphones on for this because it is a working set. And we want to stay focused. And at the moment, we've got some year eight disco vibes on. So I'm going to just get my headphones in, which isn't quite year eight disco vibes. Oh, Beth. Straight down, don't let the elbow come out. Hand underneath. A little lean, but don't bring yourself all the way down. Little lean. Squeeze it back. Keep the shoulder back to encourage the lat to stretch. From here, remember, elbow comes down first. And then back. Really trying to keep that elbow as close to your body as you can so you can see I have to fight it. Really try and scoop it in and then back. Don't let that elbow travel wide. Here. You right? What do you mean? No, I didn't want to walk in front of the video. Well, you are the video. What do we, what, what do you, you did a long one, isn't it? Alright, so there it is for today. Our back segment in the books. I hope you enjoyed it as always. Some nuggets along the way. It was absolute carnage in here, which is really good. The gym is busy, which is good for their business, of course. The next video is going to be the bicep segment. So we're going to split this one for now. And we will catch you in the next one. As always, a little like, a little comment helps the newbie channel. We're nearly at 3K subs. Look at us go, bloody hell. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one.